What's good, everyone? And today we have another reaction, this time for the Rise of Hydra Marvel trailer, or Marvel 1943 trailer. And this is for the new Captain America and Black Panther game. Unfortunately, I did not have a Black Panther or Captain America shirt, but I did have a good old Bucky Barnes shirt. So I'm just going to rock this one for the video. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this game coming up. I can't wait for it to drop. We finally got a little sneak peek into it. Let's check it out. We'll do a small breakdown at the end if there's anything to truly even look at. Other than that, let's get it. Here we go. Oh. They're combing the street. This is like old school too, by the way. Searching house to house. If they arrest you two, they will take you to their headquarters and you will not return. This game will be good, bro. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. Shit, I want him on my side, bro. That's all I'm saying. It's about to be a movie in that game, bro. By my count, that and makes two super good. soldiers loose in Paris. Three. Counting you. And that's two too many. Gonna be a classic like co-op like game for real. Before the Germans, before that American, the Eye of Force has been found. They got a light stand, brother, as Black Panther boy. Just stick to the rooftops. Be careful, Stan Wasami. When am I not? <laughs> this game will be good, bro. This don't be fun. If I tackle this one alone, you may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. <laughs> a point. Our cat friend is definitely here too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. I can already tell this whole game don't be like back and forth between like Black Panther and Cap. You'll be chasing each other pretty much, like following each other's footsteps or some shit. Like, it's gonna be crazy. It's like, they had a chance to make this co-op, bruh, and I know they're not. This is gonna be, like, I'm pretty sure this is hard single player. I'm pretty sure. But it's gonna be a good story regardless. I'm 100% gonna play this shit. I, I love Marvel. I love DC, too, bruh, but Suicide Squad game, bruh, I just... I knew you can see what wasn't gonna work already. It just wasn't my type of game. That's the only reason why I didn't play that shit. But I am big on the superhero games. I will play them. I might buy the Suicide Squad name if it drops in price one day, but I'm not sure. But for now, this game is looking good, and we I can't wait for true gameplay to drop, but a single-player action Marvel game is not a bad idea. But I feel like they really miss opportunity with some of these games because they could really throw in co-op, like, I feel like, easily, and not tarnish the story at all. But anyway. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? That was probably That's a cool with hair. That's far enough! Stay out <laughs> of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Now throw do down. I. Oh, you know what it might be? Actually, you probably get to like play two different stories and you get to choose which character you want to be. I believe that's what it was. I've and you get the story of soldiers too, right? Like two random soldiers, one American, then one uh, Dora Milaje. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, I, I was tweaking, bro. My bad. That is exactly what it is. I think you get to play, like, different stories. Hopefully the game pretty, like, lengthy, you know? Pause. But I hope it's, like, a long enough story to really, like, just tell a lot. Possible DLC. This is gonna be a good game, man. I can definitely 100 tell it's gonna be like there's gonna be love into the project at least from uh, this this point because it's, it looks like uh, it's looking like a stealth built game and kind of like kind of Arkham s like Batman Arkham kind of s. You get to sneak around, probably investigate. You know. The typical little serum, not like Spider-Man where it's more like faster paced uh, Arkham. I feel like it's going to work really well. I would assume there's no loot in this game. It doesn't seem like a looty type of game. Hopefully not. They're, it's going to bomb if it does. 
But I feel like this will be a solid game. I, I wouldn't give it game of the year. I don't think this is going to get game of the year unless the story is phenomenal. Like, because I, I don't know what they're going to do gameplay wise to really, like, separate it from other beat em ups and stuff. So, like, I'm going to have to see. And, like, that's that's coming from someone that absolutely loves Marvel and majority of, like, Marvel content. I wouldn't say you know, everything. Like, some things do, do suck, you know? But I know when, uh, there's a limitation on certain things, and, like, it's, and it's not to hold the game back. The game could really skyrocket and do amazing. Like, I, I have no idea. But I'm just predicting, like, it probably won't do that well. Marvel projects do decent, but in games or whatever, they don't do that well. And it's unfortunate, because I would love to see them have really good games. And they, they do have good games in the past, obviously. Some that they don't choose to do anything with anymore, but... That's the video for another day. I hope everybody enjoyed my reaction to this one. There's a lot of good games coming out in 2025. Don't get too hyped up. Bring the excitement down. Don't be disappointed like the beginning of this year or even last year. Put all these companies under microscope first. And then, you know, we, we might slide them a little bit of money. You know what I mean? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on another video. I'm out of here. <laughs>